Thanks, Rob. Well, some of this rain may be coming a little too late for some crops. We want to go live now to Wave 31 meteorologist Grace Nello. She's at Reeves Farms in Hartzell where they're harvesting peaches. Grace. Yes, thanks, Dan and Nikel. We are at the Reeves Family Peach Farm here in Hartzell. Well, all of North Alabama and Southern, Southern Tennessee, none of us are really strangers to the drought conditions. But right here from June 1st until July 12th, that's yesterday, we've had the warmest season on record since 1930 and the driest season on record since 1930, meaning that we're in a four-inch deficit right here. So I'm here with David Reeves. His family owns this peach farm in Hartzell. And we're going to talk to him, what has this drought meant for you and what has it meant for your peaches? Uh, it's just been a lot of different things, but we've noticed that it's been very dry, so we've tried to combat it with our own irrigation, and mm -hmm. usually we don't put irrigation on peach trees, Right. but this year we've had to because of low rainfall, but when we do that, we put a, a line like this, and it's a micro-irrigation that just drips slowly over time, mm -hmm. and uh, this is actually running off city water, so it's costing us a little bit, but right. when they don't get a lot of water, they kind of turn into little peaches like this. And when you get full water on them, they, they look like that. Right, right. So there's a pretty big difference there in those sizes. Have you seen anything with your customers? Have they said anything to you about it? Our customers noticed a little bit on these early peaches that didn't get quite as big as mm -hmm. normal. And uh, they, they're used to it. We, we try to have the biggest peaches around. So, like, <laughs> they kind of know something may be up when you have, like, little peaches like that. Right. So we have had a little little complaints but not right. bad no, people usually no, know course. that it's a drought and they'll they'll bear with you right yeah. right of course well we are definitely feeling these effects of the drought right here in Hartzell all over the northern part of the state and in southern Tennessee as well so we're crossing our fingers and we're praying for some rain here in North Alabama back to you guys in the studio